Hey everybody, this is Karkan, and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to theme your Samsung phone. We all remember back in the day when we wanted to theme our phone, we had to root it and install a custom ROM. But with today's software and Samsung's One UI, that's not an issue anymore. So, if you would like to theme your phone and not only theme it, but take it to the next level, just follow this video. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, let's grow together, and let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is go to the Play Store and download Hex Installer. So we click here and search it. I've already searched it. And then you click it. Uh, it's $1.99, I think, or $2. I'm not sure. I think it's worth it, but it's up to you. Click Install. And you will notice when it, it's done installing, it will install two apps. One is the Hex Installer itself, and the other one is called Hex Hide. I will go over them uh, once it's done. Now it's done. Let's open the app. We're gonna go over the initial setup. It's gonna ask you for a couple of permissions, just grant them. First permission is grant permission for storage. Click yes, go ahead. And the other one is for installation permission because Samsung considers it as an unknown source. And it'll take you to this page. Click allow from this source. And go back, finish your setup. And before we do anything here, I want to show you the other app. So we'll click home. See, for some reason, this app downloads the main app on the home screen and the Hexified app on the in the actual app drawer. So I'm going to drag this one here, bring it back to the home, and we'll open Hexified. This app right here will have a bunch of uh, you know apps, or I'm sorry. A bunch of themes that people created and then you will have multiple tabs here one of them is uh, shared which is uh, other themes that are created by other people you got top 50 you got featured you got submit you got plugins top 50 are the ones that are you know most voted and featured I think they're you know the ones that are you know chosen by developers submit is when you create your own app and share it to the platform and plugins is where you can find other plugins so plugins are the ones that make your phone look like other platforms. Let's say the AOSP one will make your phone look like Android, you know, stock Android. This one right here, MUI, MIUI, it's going to make your phone look like a Huawei phone. Um, this one right, right here will make your phone look like an iPhone and so on and so forth. Uh, some of them are free, some of them are paid. It'll say here free, it'll say, you know, pay 99 cents. You choose whatever you like. I have the free ones. Um, if you want to support developers, go ahead and buy some of them. Let's go to the main app. Hex installer, before you do anything, the first thing I rec recommend you doing is go to the settings and enable the Hex Plus uh, feature and uh, the Hex Plus uh, theme and the high contrast. So the Hex Plus is where you can apply multiple layers, extra layers that actually enable you to theme more things in the system and more third, uh, third party apps so to do that is you go to the settings and you go to hex plus mode and first i want you to do install hex plus base theme so you click this one right here and then it'll ask you okay let's install the base click install and then just hit install again and then now it's going to ask you to check to see if it's in the Samsung theming app. There you go. And for sure it's right here. Let's click back. Now we can come back here and enable H plus mode. Click that. Once it's this screen, you're good to go. Now we'll go back. So before we do anything or, you know, theme anything, just click on personalize and go straight to build and install. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Click that. And here's why. Because when we click uh, build and install, it'll download the extra app that it uses to actually theme your phone, which is this one right here, high contrast theme, sky black. So click download. And once it's done installing, don't hit apply, just click back so we can go customize. So the first tab right here is UI mode. This will give you the choice between 
multiple modes. It comes preloaded with three, I think, which is the default one UI, and this one that I cannot pronounce, to be honest, and this one. I've downloaded a couple of extra, but if you want more, you can just go all the way to the bottom where it says find more plugins on Google Play. When you click it, it'll take you to the Play Store where you can find a bunch of plugins too, or you can go to the Hexified app. It doesn't matter. So anyway, for the sake of this uh, video, I'm gonna show you both. So the one that sh uh, shows day and night will enable you to actually choose a, a white background and a dark background. So let's choose this one right here. Once you click on one of these, it'll show you a preview of what the theme is gonna look like when you install it. I personally don't like this one because of these icons, but I just want to show you. So when you choose this one, you click back. So when you come here, you will see coloring with a little moon and then with a crescent moon. Uh, this means you can choose white background or dark background. I like uh, dark background, but I don't like this theme as a whole. So I'll go back and choose the one I like, which is this guy right here. Click it. It'll show you a preview of, uh, of what's going to look like. See this icon. You see the uh, notification icon. Once you chose it, you hit back and then you go over these. The first one, the first one is coloring. It's where you choose a primary color for a lot of, uh, you know, sides of the theme. So you can change the color of the text, the color of the icons, a lot of colors, the background. So go over these one by one and choose your favorite colors. And then when you're done, click back. The second one is apps. This is where you can choose any app you want to theme and any app you don't want to theme. I normally leave them all checked, but it's up to you. Click back. And then the last one is uh, preferences. Preferences is where you can change uh, some features on the phone. So let's say you want to remove the battery icon. You want to change the LTE or the Wi-Fi and so on and so forth. So uh, this theme comes uh, by default with the navigation bar disabled. I like my navigation bar. So when I click this one, It'll show me navigation bar right here. And also it shows you how high you want your navigation bar. I like mine all the way up. So you can go over these one, one by one and see which one you like and you change whatever you like. So when you go to background transparency, that means this one right here, how transparent you want it to be. Go over these. I'm going to go over them and choose whatever I like and leave whatever I don't want. So this one I'm going to check. I'll check this one. And I'll check this one and this. And when, when once you're done, you know, choosing whatever you like, you click the back button and then now you're ready. So whenever you click the build and install, it'll ask you for a, a bunch of install, OKs and all that stuff. So just go with it. Just click OK and install all the way. So now it's compiling all the apps. You wait for it until it's done. and click OK. Like I said, it's gonna ask you a bunch of stuff. Install, OK, install, just go with it. Install, install. And now it gives you instruction right here. Apply default, apply hex. Default is already applied. So now we're gonna go to hex plus because it told us in the steps, first one, apply default, second one, apply the hex, third one, apply this one right here, and the fourth one is reboot. Since we have our default already applied, now we're gonna go to this one right here. So when I click it, you have to choose try it out. Don't delete, don't choose buy, choose try it out. So whenever I click try it out, it'll cut off my screen recorder. So for you, you will see a progress bar right here. Once it's done, you're good to go. So I'm gonna, click try it out and I will come back to you whenever it's done installing. So now it's done installing. We're going to go back to the notification panel. See now it's telling you what's the next step. Uh, you can just click this one right here. It's telling you next step is when you apply the high contrast theme. So click it and it'll take you right here. Same thing is going to happen. When I hit apply, it's going to cut off my screen recording for you. You will see a progress bar right here. So I'm going to click apply and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, now that I apply the second theme, I will pull the notification down 
and look what it's saying. It's saying restart your device now. So now I'm gonna restart the device and you will see that all the theme is applied. So I'll restart, I'll come back to you. All right, now that the device rebooted, you can see everything has been themed. You know, the, uh, the notification panel, the icons, your dialer, uh, everything in the phone has been themed. Uh, there is another way that I use uh, that is easier than going into the hex installer uh, without going into the settings and changing, uh, you know, each color individually, uh, which is I would go into the Hexify itself and choose a theme that was made by another user that I like. All you have to do is choose a theme that you like and hit hit it and then import the, the colors from here. Uh, so sometimes when you hit import hex, it'll pop up a menu here that tells you there is a missing plugin. It's up to you if you want to download it or not. Uh, but if you don't download it, it'll just take the colors, not the plugin. So I'm going to hit import hex and it'll take me to here. Uh, I normally don't go over anything when I import something except the preferences to change a couple of things. Uh, so look, for example here, the navigation bar is uh, too low for me, or actually not even checked in here. So I like my uh, navigation bar. I click it, go high, and then go over these and check whatever I like. This one and this one. You can see here they made custom uh, toggles. And uh, I'll check this one. And lastly, this one. And that's it. And all we have to do after that, just hit build and install and just do the same steps. I'm not gonna go over the whole uh, the whole ordeal. I'll just, uh, you know, explain to you. So now we're gonna cl click build and install and wait for it until it's done compiling. And then once it's done, it'll give you a small message here that tells you what you, what you need to do. Let's go over the install install again and install again and there's a message right here so it's telling you now to apply the default so first thing you want to do is apply default wait for it to finish and then come back to the theme store again and apply this one right here the hex plus and then when it's done you come back again and you apply this one and you restart your device that's it very easy very useful beautiful app uh, play with it you know, have fun if you have a minute uh, to waste or something. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, if you find it useful, please make sure to subscribe, uh, like the video, share it uh, to help me uh, grow the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.